Okay, let's just get right into it. I have a problem with the way a lot of documentation is done. Uh, I think that in general, documentation is done because it makes people feel good about writing it, um, but they don't actually think about how useful it would be. And I'm going to show you an example right here. So let me jump into the uh, docs folder I've made here. And uh, now imagine I've got a, a repo, uh, single file, and I've just completed this user reporter. And uh, now it's time for me to add some kind of documentation so people know how this thing works. Now, first of all, if you think I don't need to document anything, my code is self-documenting. It's not. No one else, no one thinks that. Like you probably won't even think that in two weeks. But uh, no one, no one thinks your code is self-documenting. Um, all right. So I have this user reporter. What does it do? So what we often get told to do is. Okay, you need to make documentation for this. So you're going to go to some website like uh, docshub.net, you know, some terrible website that's super bright, blinds your eyes, and you're going to go in there and you're you're going to write some documentation. Then you can go around and tell everyone, I wrote documentation. Look how good I am. Isn't, isn't this great? Uh, if you need documentation, just check out doc, docshub.net, you know, the, uh, the website that you uh, can never find anything in and uh, never think to go to. And uh, I think this is a real issue. In case you can't tell, docshub.net is not a real site. It's just, you know, it's one of those million websites where people write documentations uh, to blind you. Okay, and it's not the fault of the person who wrote the documentation uh, that no one will ever read. It's not their fault that they put it in docshub.net uh, instead of putting it somewhere better. It's that there's a, a virtual cycle here because people are told you need to write documentation. If there's a meeting and somebody says, should we document it? Everyone will go, of course we should document it. If somebody said that maybe we shouldn't document it, everyone will say, well, that's a terrible idea. So you have to document it. Um, but this is clearly the wrong way, right? And so here, here's why it sucks. Okay, so the first thing, if you're writing things into docshub.net, uh, people don't stumble upon the documentation. So if I'm jumping into this class for the first time, I'm never going to run into I'm never going to think to go to docshub.net. I'm not going to see anything. I'm just going to look at this user reporter and go, okay, is this reporting users? Is this like, like, is this, is they done something bad so we're reporting them? Like, I have no idea what it's doing. I'm not going to think, better open up docshub.net and try and search through a terrible interface and hopefully find it, right? And go like, hey, is there, is there a user reporter in here? Oh, there is. Wow, user reporter. Great, I found it. No, nobody will ever do that. Okay, second reason it sucks, always hard to search. So uh, a code base is very easy to search, right? I can, I can just grab anything I want, super easy to find it. But a site like docshub.net, super hard to find anything and super slow, almost always super slow. Okay, the, the, the next thing here is uh, no one cares if the documents suck. So if you're making a code uh, PR, you know, like you're putting your code up here and people are gonna read it and they're gonna say, oh, you did a good job or you did a terrible job with docs. No, you just kind of sneak it in there Right? You just kind of throw a paper onto a desk and uh, nobody really evaluates. And no one's going back later on to say, okay, who wrote this documentation? Let's see how well it was done. Never happens, right? So you don't really care if it's any good and you're probably not getting feedback on it at all. And, and the last reason it sucks, there's no positive feedback loop. So because every time I go to docshub.net, I can't really find anything and half the time the thing I'm looking for is not even there or it's super out of date, it's right from 2017 or something, there's no reason for me to ever go back there. Right? So instead, I'm just never going to think to go to docshub.net because it's probably not worth my time. That's not to say that all documentation is useless. Far from it. Like Laravel documentation is the gold standard, in my opinion, of documentation. And I go back to this all the time because I know whatever I'm looking for is going to be here. It's going to be explained very clearly and it's going to be up to date. And I know that somebody PR'd this. Right? Somebody wrote this code and somebody else checked it and thought, okay, does this actually make sense? Maybe even Taylor Otwell, like the, the creator of the framework, looked it over and said, uh, I don't really like how you phrase this. Whereas the documentation on docshub.net, probably even the writer didn't read it. Okay, so we need a solution, right? What's the solution? First thing, always, always, always document your code in line, right? I know pe people hate this. They think you shouldn't have documented in your code. I used to think this for a long time. But no, say what you are doing, right? Okay, and at the top of your class, right, at the very top here, Give some context. Explain what is this thing? Why did you build it? What it, should it be used for? Were there any constraints? But have it here where somebody's just going to stumble upon it. Now, I know what you're thinking. Maybe you're not even thinking this. Maybe you're not even watching the video at this point. But user report documentation. I'm not going to put all of this. There's so much documentation. I've got 
years and years of documentation. I'm not going to put it all here. Well, first of all, you, you could put it all there and then at least that way it'll get updated in the future, but you can always just use a hyperlink. There you go. Right? So I can have some context and then I can have a link to documentation. At least that way, somebody's going to go to docshub.net, whatever I called it, and, uh, and read this thing. Because uh, if there's no link to it, people are never going to go check this thing out again. I've seen this kind of issue in pretty much every company I've ever worked at, um, you know, technical or not. I've seen it in school uh, and I've seen it in every open source project, right? Um, not every open source project, some are great. But, you know, you, you go to the project and you can't, like they have documentation, but like it's out of date. It's hard to search through. You don't really know what you're supposed to be looking for. People write down some things, they don't write down other things. And you think just put everything in the readme, put everything in the readme. And that, that is a thing. Okay, so a readme, yeah, people read the readme. So put a readme in your code base, put a readme next to any project you do, and people will actually read it or they'll stumble upon it. Like they'll, they'll be searching for something, they'll type in read and they'll see the readme and they go, oh, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted, right? So put it somewhere where people will find it. All right, bit of a rant, but you know, I was listening to a podcast where this person was talking about how developers need to write more documentation and I just kept thinking like no they, they don't because nobody is reading it and I know that it feels good to say that and it feels good to be the documentation person but unless people are actually reading it and you can find out ask them if they actually are right even those people are actually reading it it's a waste of everyone's time but good documentation beautiful I love it